Ozarks Technical Community College is proud to have a large and active chapter of Phi Theta Kappa, the National Honor Society for two-year colleges. Graduate Lena Culp has been active in the college's Phi Theta Kappa chapter and has served as both president and vice president of the organization. She has also been involved with the Student Government Association and the Student Life Organization. Lena has been active in the community through the Special Olympics of Missouri and through serving as a guest speaker at local colleges and nonprofit organizations for disability advocacy. Please join me in welcoming Phi Theta Kappa President and member of the 2009 graduating class, Lena Culp. I have to tell you, it's surreal standing here finally. Attending college is a decision most do not take lightly. I am no exception. In November 2004, I went online and applied for admission with Ozarks Technical Community College. It was a culmination of years of thought and my lifelong dream to work towards a college degree. There have been years of hard work, and today, we're all seated here today in our caps and gowns, surrounded by those who mean the most to us. But what have we endured from our beginning points until now? A whirlwind of learning, juggling, leaning, loving, serving, placating, giving and receiving, and most importantly, living. Corita Kent, artist and educator, said, love the moment, each moment is vital, it affects the whole. Life is a succession of these moments, and to live each is to succeed. We have learned. We've sat in classes and absorbed subjects ranging from college algebra, sociology, ethics to microcomputer applications, and deaf culture to business law. Each of these classes brought us one step closer to this day. Yet they did something else for us. They enriched our lives. Life is well-rounded with a solid education like the one I've received here. We've juggled school, work, children, family and friends, the house, the car, all kept in a constant circle of precariousness with hopefully time for something fun thrown in the mix. We've leaned on those we hold dear and others who could help us when the stress of life as a student caught up with us for a short time. These people helped us through the bumps, and many are seated here today to share in our celebration. We have loved, loved a class, held a member of the OTC family in high esteem, or like me, simply loved being a student as I worked towards my lifelong goal. We've loved our family and friends for putting up with our completely odd behaviors during finals week, semester after semester, until even they were counting down until to this day. We shared our stories of success and sometimes those bumps in the road so that those who care for us most can share in our experiences through the one thing that connects us most strongly, love. We've served our campuses as successful students. Some have served the campus with student organizations that enriched not only our lives, but those of others that we humbly served. I stand before you today as a proud member and retiring president of Phi Theta Kappa, the International Honor Society for the two-year college. OTC's chapter serves the campus and the community in ways that have had a profound effect on our lives and those of others. In fact, in April at the International Convention in Grapevine, Texas, our chapter was recognized as the fifth finalist for the most distinguished chapter in the world. I am proud to serve in that wonderful achievement of servant leadership. We have placated who, you might ask, lots of people, but mainly ourselves. Time and time again, we've told ourselves we should listen to those around us and believe that we are giving our best and to err as human. We've reassured ourselves that it's okay to believe in something tangible 
that we reach this day and be proud of ourselves as others have been of us throughout our entire journey. We have given and received. We have given administration a graduating class of which they can be proud. In return, we have received a formal education, the likes of which are unparalleled in any other community college in the nation. The instructors, faculty, staff, and administration of this college work daily to help every student, excuse me, move closer to eventually reaching this day. Their constant vigil to make this the best experience for every one of their students is one of the main reasons I am proud to be associated with this college. And finally, we have lived. Every day since that afternoon in 2004, I have risen out of bed with the purpose of completing another day as a student, but also as a mother, daughter, girlfriend, coworker, volunteer, future attorney, servant leader, dreamer, traveler, and realist. Today, I'm still all of those things, but I am now also a college graduate. Thank you to everyone seated here today for your support in helping these graduates achieve a college education, and a most heartfelt congratulations to all of you. Thank you.